Hello, we're Keen, and we're here on France 24. They're one of Britain's most beloved bands, with songs that provided the soundtrack to the naughties. Their debut album, Hopes and Fears, went to number one in the UK. They've sold more than 10 million records over the course of their career, and seven years after their last album, Strangeland, Keen are back with cause and effect. I sat down with Tom, Tim, Richard, and Jesse before one of their shows in Paris. So my very first question is probably what many of your fans are thinking is, where have you guys been? <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be, why have you come back? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went and made a couple of solo records, which is something I really wanted to do. Um, and I think, yeah, maybe we would just reach that point when we made the last Keen record where I certainly felt like I wasn't feeling the same kind of passion for it. Um, as I had at the beginning. So uh, maybe it was a, a kind of natural point at which to pause um, and take a break. It's been a long break though. And a natural time to come back together. What motivated you to come back together after? I guess it was a break. You didn't officially break up, but we're on a pause. What, yeah. what made you want to get back together? I think just a kind of love for each other and uh, all the history that we have. Um, but I think particularly it was, it was the songs, you know, t Tim, had been through some real kind of heartbreak with his marriage breaking down and had written all these really beautiful and very vulnerable songs. And I think, you know, when you're a band, it's the music more than anything that draws you back together and, and kind of fills you with passion and enthusiasm. Um, and so, yes, it really all stemmed from two of us meeting up a couple of Christmases ago and me kind of hearing some of these great songs. And so what can fans expect on this new album? Is it very similar to past Keen albums, or have you been working on a new sound? It's just more of the same. <laughs> we haven't tried to do anything Stop new. it, Jesse. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, we tried to mix things up. Uh, we worked with a new producer, and um, we really asked to him to sort of make sure we didn't just fall back into old habits. And, and I think having a break actually helps with that as well. So we, we'd all been doing different things, and um, so we brought all of those sort of thoughts and experiences to it. Um, so it's, it's different. There are some very, very sad songs. There are some slightly less sad songs that are disguised <laughs> as uplifting songs. And um, your single, The Way I Feel, is, is, is pretty up uplifting. That's the thing about Keane's melodies, is that they, they, even if they, you know, the songs are about incredibly sad things, the melodies are often very beautiful and very uplifting. Um, so, yes, I mean, the record's full of that, right? Yeah, I was, I was listening to Mark Ronson talking about sad bangers on the radio <laughs> yesterday, and I think, you know, that's very much our music, you know, it's always been like that. And it's a very British style of writing as well, you know, very sort of uplifting and danceable and hopefully exciting musically, but also uh, very emotional and intense. Dancing with a broken heart. And I want to talk more about the, the themes uh, that, are, that are addressed in the, in the songs. I know, Tom, you've been very honest about struggles that you've had with, with drug addiction, et cetera. Are these things that you've channeled into, into this new album? It's more the story of Tim's sort of personal life, Demise. really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, in a similar, similar <laughs> way, yeah. The abject shame of, of life at times. <laughs> Well, finally, I think one of the things we love about our music, probably, or well, something I love about it is that I, you know, I feel like I'm always trying to write songs that, uh, for a start, all four of us really feel connected to, because um, otherwise, what's the point of, you know, you could have get your bandmates excited about the songs for a start. So, um, you know, that's always important to me when I'm writing. Um, so it's, even though it's often, you know, I'll start with like a really personal thing, somehow it's got to speak to these other guys and then hopefully 
more people as well. And I think um, the way I feel in particular that the song, the first single, is um, one that's, you know, it's very much about your kind of mind and, uh, you know, the way it kind of is always trying to, I don't know, push you away from the good things or play tricks on you. And, and you know, that sort of mental health stuff is something we've talked about a lot, you know, Tom and I have, you know, often chatted about. In fact, all of us have. Um, and you know it's all and it affects everybody in life you know and it's how you respond to hard times and good times and 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 everything you know and it's uh it's a really important theme that hopefully means something to all of us So your songs are so catchy, they stay in your head all the time. Uh, I mean we, everyone thinks about your 2004 song of course somewhere only we know What would you say is the secret to writing a hit King song? If you write enough songs, you end up with one or two good ones. <laughs> but that's probably true. It's a lot of it is perspiration. I um, think lyrically, you, you, you've hit on a few good phrases over the years, like everybody's changing and um, somewhere only we know. And I think the way I feel is like that. It's, um, it's, a, it's something people can latch onto. You just need one thing to get you into the song, I think. We're not the same as kind of professional songwriters who are like head down every day write, writing a hit, that's all they care about. You know, that's a whole different talent. I think we always just make music really instinctively and sometimes it comes out really well and sometimes it's a mess. But, you know, it's, uh, we just try and do stuff that we're excited about, I guess. And you've been playing together for, for such a long time. You, you've known each other since you were kids. You've been through it all together. What's the most surprising thing about coming back now and playing again? It all felt very familiar. I think that was the, the thing that struck me. The, sort of, the, the, even though seven years is, in a way, it's quite a long time, it, that time just seemed to melt away as soon as we got on a stage and started playing. And, you know, songs that we haven't played for such a long time, they're still in there, you know. You might have to take a couple of runs through them just to figure out exactly what you're doing, but they're, they're still there. And, um, but yeah, and also I think just, it's everything else aside from the gigs and all of that. It's this sort of behind the scenes stuff, as it were, you know, where, you know, where, where we're together and the, the kind of camaraderie. And there's a sort of language, I suppose, that we have <laughs> together that only we really understand and only we would ever really find funny. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so I think, and all that kind of comes flooding back. You basically create a gang, you know, when you're kids and you hope it lasts. Um, and here we are, what, what is it? Probably about 20, you know, 25, 30, yeah, yeah. 30 years since we started <laughs> making music as kids, you know, we're still here. So if this is a, a new chapter in the Keen story, is there anything that you want to do differently this time around? Yeah, we're trying to just take it all in a little bit more. When, when you start out, everything's about what the next thing is and doing something bigger and better and more exciting and, and you know, beating whatever you did last time. And this time, we really genuinely just made this record for ourselves because Tim had written these songs. We were excited to be back together as friends. And um, so we're just trying to take it in as we go. We played a festival the other day at the Isle of Wight and it was really, there, there was a moment where Tom was, sort of said to the crowd, I, I, I want to just, I need to take this in a little bit, because it, it, it was really special just being back up in front of a big crowd. And I think in the past, we would have just rushed past it without really noticing. So um, I think it's healthy for us to enjoy it a bit more this time. Well, it's really good to have you guys back, and thanks so much for being on France 24. It's a real Thank pleasure. You.